So anyway, you may have noticed I played a lot of a lot of summery songs at the top. Why? Because today's the summer solstice. That's right, guys. What's that mean? It's the longest day of the year? The summer's here. Get ready, man. Summer's here. Who's got summer plans? I'm going to say all night we can talk about our summer plans. All night. You're going on vacation. You want to have fun. I think of the summer. You know what I think of when I was a a little boy? A lot of times I I would go to the movies is somewhere I ended up a lot. The movies, all day long I'd go to the movies. Because there would be these things where they would have these matinees at the junky local theater. Where it'd be like super cheap to get in, but it was also the worst movie on earth that they would show in the middle of the day. I remember this one theater I went to as a kid. I mean, I must have been uh, nine at this point. Nine? I go to this this, uh, theater, matinee. They start showing this movie, some space movie. Worst thing ever. Like one of those... A distinction that cannot get lost on on young people is that... After Star Wars, space movies were kind of like... Made to be exciting. But before that, they were like literally... The, the junkiest movies ever made. Like they were still kind of excited about the space program. Like that was what informed space movies. Like rocket ships. So I go to, we, I go to this movie and I'm telling you, it is so boring. So boring. It was like, I remember there was one scene where there's like a, a, a two spaceships trying to dock or something, and then some guy gets cut loose, and he's like floating into space like, Aah! and then I was like, I'm leaving. I live a mile away from here. I'll just walk home. The theater owner would not let kids out. Everybody back to your seats. Everybody back to your seats. They're screaming because kids. He, this guy put the worst movie ever on. He probably he probably paid fifteen dollars for it. That's eh, space. They'll love it. Whatever. They like space. They'll watch anything. Not this thing, dude. Let us out. He would not let us out of the theater. Made us all sit back in the theater. It's like a child mutiny. Everybody wanted to go. Let us out. I was screaming. Had this real thick Italian accent. I used to call the uh, answering machine and just listen to the messages because, like, they were indecipherable. Be like, uh... Playing playing this week, uh, for your eyes only. Not doing any job, making him sound like a vampire. A vampire didn't run this theater, trust me. Another time, I went to another one of these things at a different theater.
Another space movie? But then this movie wasn't even like a space movie. It was like a horror movie. But like... I don't know. I, like, I'm watching this thing. I, I must have been eight at this point. I'm watching this thing. They're like dead bodies all over lawns and stuff. I was terrified. Like, this dude did not vet this movie very well for the matinee. And now I'm stuck in the theater. And I didn't, I was not near my house at this point. This one. Nowhere near where I lived. Terrified out of my gourd. Waiting for this nightmare of a movie to end. Ooh, I had nightmares on that one. These theater owners, they put these cheapo movies up for like two bucks or whatever they were just to get kids in the theater. Did you go to things like that, Mike? Yeah, yeah. In the summer? Yeah. yeah, they just you just get stuck at the theater. These kids matinees. Biggest pieces of junk you ever saw in your life. Yeah, it's almost like you were happy to be there because it was air conditioned. The other one of these I remember is when uh, Return of the Jedi came out, the Star Wars movie. I remember it was the opening. It was a Friday. It was the first Friday that it was playing. So I'm at this theater with all these other kids seeing this matinee. It's packed. Everybody's all excited. Here comes Return of the Jedi. Theater full of kids. Kids everywhere. Except for one dude. One old dude sitting alone up front. The movie starts. Then you know those Star Wars credits that roll? was like, first of all, it says, a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. And all the kids read it at the same time. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. I mean, like a theater full of these kids reading at the same time. And this dude, who, in my memory, was the only adult in the theater. that I'm sure he wasn't. But it was this dude sitting by himself way up front, like third row. And this is like before stadium seating where those seats were still vaguely acceptable. This guy was like lit as head at a 90 degree angle. See the screen. But all the kids. A long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. This dude jumps up, turns to the audience. And goes, shut up! <laughs> Just like he lost his marbles. But if you think about it from where he's coming from, he's like, he's like an adult who likes Star Wars. It's like, I'm very excited. This Star Wars movie, third one's coming out. I got a. Got off early at work on Friday. Got to get a chance to check this thing out. The kids are still in school. Then he gets... He gets to the theater seats. It's just a sea of kids. Because everybody was off for, like, whatever... What would it be? Memorial Day? But everyone was off. And this, this guy gets to the theater. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. This place is swimming with kids. I don't know what I should do here. I don't know. I want to see this so bad. I've been waiting years for this. 
I wonder what's going to happen with Han Solo. He's frozen in that block of stuff. What's going to happen? I want to enjoy this. So you only get to see this for the first time once. All right. Let's go in the theater. I'll take my chances. I'll sit up front away from these kids. Takes his seat. Lights go down. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Uh-uh. No. It's not how it's going to be, Glenn. And I'm naming him Glenn. I don't know what the guy's name was. What are you going to do, Glenn? Uh, this is not. This does not fly. Shut up! He lost. I mean, it was hilarious and scary at the same time. If I was a bad kid, I would have thrown stuff at him. This guy's way up front. He doesn't know who's throwing stuff at him. Then again, you're a kid. I'm going to throw my candy at him. I don't have money to go get more candy. That's my candy. I'm going to eat it. I buy candy. I'm going to eat my candy. I'm not going to waste my milk dud at the back of this guy's head. Mike's saying throw the box. It's the beginning. What do you think? I drain the entire box that fast? What kind of pig do you think I am? Throw the box at him. I mean, and this guy just didn't yell it, like, anonymously. He stood up and turned and faced all of us and screamed it at us. Like, he pulled, like, off, he pulled, like, adult ranking on us. We all should have just taken him out, right? 800 kids versus one adult? Be like Mars Attacks. When Jim Brown is on the, the the Vegas tarmac, fighting all those Martians. Now imagine you show Mars Attacks to a group of eight-year-olds. That's what it was like when they, these these guys putting these horror show movies on, smoking dead. No, you know what it's more like? It was more like if they, like, hey, let your kids into the movies. What movie are you going to show them? Oh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Come on. Weird local theaters. 